So this video will show an example on how to calculate a goods market equilibrium in a standard uh, Keynes and Cross model. Uh, here we have our, our information laid out. We have a consumption function with an autonomous amount of consumption of 160 and the endogenous part here, disposable income is Y minus 100, so T is equal to 100. The marginal propensity to consume is 0.6, which means of course that the multiplier is equal to 1 over 1 minus C1 equal to 1 over 1 minus 0.6 which is 10 over 4 so the multiplier is 2.5 you can already see that here uh, and investment and uh, government expenditures are exogenous at the level of 150 now uh, with this information we can just write down the aggregate demand function which is C plus G plus I and substitute here so we have 160 plus 0.6 Y minus 100 plus this sum 300 and some simplification here 0.6 times minus 100, so 160 minus 60 is 100 plus 300 is 400 uh, plus 0.6y gives us our aggregate demand function. Now what do we know about the goods market equilibrium? Well, demand is equal to production, that is where goods market equilibrium occurs. So we can substitute and we get y equal to 400 plus 0.6y and that we can solve out to get 1 minus 0.6 times y equal to 400 or y star equal to 2.5 times 400 equal to 1000. So here again we have our multiplier and the autonomous amount of consumption. We can obviously show that in our well-known graph which is shows demand as a function of income and we have here the autonomous amount of demand A which is uh, 160 autonomous consumption plus government expenditures and investment minus C1 times T and that uh, adds to 400 then we have a demand function with a slope slope of 0.6, namely C1, and we have our equilibrium uh, production uh, with a slope of 1, and we get an intersection here at Z equal to Y equal to 1000. Okay. Um, you can easily calculate from here uh, disposable income uh, which is uh, YD equal to Y minus T which is 900 and you can calculate consumption which you can verify to come to 700. Okay, let's go to a new page and uh, do a little bit more, namely consider a change in expenditures. Let's consider uh, that G falls to 110 which of course means that the change in G is equal to minus 40. Uh, we can then immediately see that the change in Y is equal to M times the change in G which is equal to 2.5 times minus 40 which is equal to minus 100 since Y initially was uh, so Y2 star, the new equilibrium, is 1000 minus this change, the new equilibrium value will be 900. And similarly we can calculate the new consumption level which will be 160 plus 0.6 times Y minus 100 exactly as before just that Y now is 900 and not 1000 so that this adds to 640 rather than uh, 700 so consumption itself falls by 60 due to the change in output. Alright, so uh, 
then the important question here is to consider whether this fall in government expenditures uh, changes savings and investment and we can uh, simply compare uh, let's see let's say before and after so before uh, we have y star equal to 1000 and c equal to 700 and we can write down some uh, accounting which is that government savings plus private savings uh, is equal to t minus g which is government savings plus y minus t minus c which is private savings which of course is t cancel out y minus g minus c which must be equal to i now we know what i is i is still 150 unchanged which means basically that the other left hand side can't change either uh, can we verify that uh, so we have here uh, t minus g which is 100 minus 150 so that we can say that the government runs a deficit of 50 minus 50 so government savings is negative y is a thousand minus 100 minus 700 is plus 200 so private savings are 200 and the two add to the 150 in investment now well that's the initial situation let's now do after y star is now 900 and c is equal to 640 we get the same kind of accounting so let me start right here with the numbers we now have uh, we still have 100 uh, in taxes minus 110 in expenditures which means that the deficit of the government fell to minus 10 and the private savings uh, are 900 minus 100 minus 640 which means that the private savings fell uh, not to 100 but fell to 150 160 sorry what am I saying 160 now that is of course still equal to I namely the 150 that we're talking about so the change in government expenditures leads to changes in savings on the public and the private side but such that uh, income falls and the fall in income leads to a fall in savings uh, so the increase in savings the lower deficit is balanced with uh, a lower savings a decrease in savings on the private side to show an overall unchanged level of savings in the macroeconomy.